This training module will cover how to plan a mission with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, or M3E, using the DJI Pilot 2 software. Additionally, this module will cover accessing and editing saved missions, checking and updating firmware, UAV health management, calibrations, and formatting your SD card. Welcome to Propeller U. Planning a mission on the M3E uses the DJI Pilot 2 software on the remote controller. To plan a mission, turn on your controller and tap the DJI Pilot 2 button if you are not automatically logged in. Once your RC is turned on, connect it to a Wi-Fi network to ensure the base maps will load to assist with planning a mission. To connect to a local Wi-Fi network, swipe down from the top of the controller screen, hold down the Wi-Fi icon, and input your Wi-Fi credentials. From the home screen of DJI Pilot 2, tap the Flight Route button, then tap the Create a Route button, and finally, tap the Mapping button. Locate your desired site by panning the map and using two fingers to adjust the zoom extent. If your drone is on, you can also tap the target icon to show your current location. Tap the screen once to create a four-point polygon on your map. Edit the polygon to fit your desired survey area. You can collapse the side menu to allow more room for editing. Tap the plus icon between dots to add vertices. To remove vertices, tap on the vertex and then tap on the trash can icon. While editing your mission, please take note of the estimated flight time, area coverage, and the number of photos. Now you've set the survey area. Now you can set the mission parameters. Expand the side menu if it has been collapsed. Adjust the mission name and settings. Select the camera to be the DJI Mavic 3E wide. Disable terrain follow. Adjust your flight route altitude between 200 and 400 feet, or 60 and 120 meters. If there are any airspace restrictions in effect for your site, please make sure that it is taken into account when adjusting this parameter. Adjust the speed and takeoff speed to have a minimum of 10 minute capture time. Please note that the capture time needs to be 10 minutes for each battery used. This will ensure that the drone has sufficient time to collect enough GNSS data required for your accurate positioning. If your flight does not achieve the 10 minute minimum, you can pause your drone mid-flight and let the drone hover to be sure to reach the 10 minute capture time. However, do not have your drone hover at the mission's beginning or end. Disable altitude optimization. If it is not disabled, the drone will take unnecessary oblique photos after your flight, causing processing delays. Set the upon completion behavior to return to home. Tap on advanced settings and set your side and frontal overlap ratio to 80%. This will provide sufficient coverage of your area of interest to ensure the models are accurately produced. Adjust the course angle to your preference. This can add or remove time from your flight, so please be sure to check the estimated time after adjusting the setting. Set the margin to zero so that the drone stays within the flight boundary. This will reduce your flight time, so if needed, reduce your drone speed to ensure you have a 10 minute flight. And finally, set the photo mode to distance interval shot so the drone can capture images with a consistent overlap. When you have all the correct settings, tap the save icon. Now that your mission parameters are set, turn on your drone. Navigate to the camera settings by tapping the live M3E camera view and close out of the pre-flight check. Adjust the camera settings by first selecting the white camera icon and tapping S. This will set the camera into shutter priority mode which allows for better control of the camera and avoids motion blur. Select AFC for autofocus continuous. This ensures the drone recalibrates the focus for each image. Set the shutter to 1 over 1000 for a sunny day. If it is cloudy or you have low light conditions like sunrise or sunset, set the shutter to 1 over 800. If you set the shutter to 1 over 800, reduce the drone speed to reduce the likelihood of motion blur in your images. Select the three slider bars icon, then tap on the camera icon. Set the image ratio to 4.3. Set the image format to .jpg. Tap the three dots, then enable lock gimbal while shooting, mechanical shutter, and dewarping. For a quick reminder on the settings, please see our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com. Before invoking your mission, review your flight settings, estimated flight time, and ensure dewarping is turned on for best results. If your settings are not correct, your data may be less accurate and delayed in processing. If you are reflying a mission, that mission will be saved in the controller. 
you can update and overwrite the mission boundary and settings as needed. You can also tap select to select previous flights, copy flights, star or mark the flight as a favorite, delete the flight, or export the flight. To export the flight, insert a micro SD card into the slot at the bottom of the controller, tap export flight, select your SD card, and place it in an existing folder. Finally, tap export. To import an existing mission from an SD card, in the flight route menu, tap the KMZ import button. Navigate to the folder where the file is stored. If prompted, select allow access to the SD card. The flight route will now be available in your flight's library. Now that you know how to create and update missions, let's go over some of the best practices to ensure your drone is ready for its flight. Before your flight, it is advised to do a pre-flight check. Start by removing the gimbal guard, inspecting the drone and the propellers for damage, installing the RTK module, and ensuring that the batteries are fully charged. Use the remote controller to check the UAV health management to see if the drone needs any firmware updates or calibrations. Be sure to format the micro SD card before your first flight of the day and check the airspace to see if you need an airspace unlock. For more information, watch how to check and unlock airspace in PropellerU or check the materials associated with this module. Your M3E will look for firmware updates when you log in and let you know if the firmware is up to date or needs updating. You can update your firmware over Wi-Fi by connecting your RC to Wi-Fi to download and install. You can also update your firmware offline by downloading the file from the DJI website to a micro SD card inserting the SD card into the RC and installing the firmware. Be sure to double check your camera settings after a firmware update because your drone may revert back to factory settings. For more information, see our knowledge base on how to update the firmware on the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Use the RC to check the UAV health management. This menu is where error messages will appear as well as suggested actions to resolve issues for the propulsion, avionics, vision positions, battery, remote controller, and image transmission systems. From this menu, you can also access logs, provide past flight data, error logs, and firmware information. You will receive an error message if any calibrations are needed. These calibrations may be necessary for the IMU, compass, or gimbal. For the IMU and compass calibration, first enter the camera view. Next, close the pre-flight check menu and open the flight controller settings. Scroll down to sensor status, select IMU, and then select calibrate IMU. The remote controller will guide you through the calibration process. Please note that the RTK module will have to be removed and the drone must be on a level surface. For the compass calibration, navigate back to the sensor status menu, tap compass, and then calibrate compass. Once again, the remote controller will guide you through the calibration process. This must be done outdoors at least 15 feet or 5 meters away from any vehicles, buildings, or other large objects. Finally, if your gimbal needs to be calibrated, enter the camera view, Close the pre-flight check menu and open the gimbal settings. Then tap gimbal calibration. The M3E will then conduct a gimbal calibration. Please see our knowledge base for more information on how to calibrate the IMU, compass, and gimbal using DJI Pilot 2. Before flying each mission, ensure there is ample storage on the micro SD card. The best way to ensure the flight will capture all of the necessary data is to format your micro SD card prior to your first flight of the day. To format your micro SD card, enter the camera view, close the pre-flight check menu, and open the camera settings. Tap the three dots menu, scroll to the bottom, and tap format SD card, then follow the prompts. Be sure all of your previous survey data has been copied or saved to a separate location before formatting your micro SD card. Verify you are using a fast and high quality micro SD card with a U3 rating. Please see our knowledge base for more information on what micro SD cards can be used with your survey drone. Once these settings are confirmed, you are ready to fly your mission. In this training module, we went over how to plan a mission on the Mavic 3 Enterprise. 
accessing and editing saved missions, checking and updating firmware, UAV health management, calibrations, and formatting your micro SD card. Thank you for watching. To learn more, you can read the supporting materials associated with this module or check out our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com.